Zombie Apocalypse. Hey YouTube, today it is Step On A Gaming, and I have an awesome new series that I'm going to be bringing to my channel. It is called The Wasteland 2. This is going to be an awesome walkthrough slash playthrough of Wasteland 2. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Fallout series, such as, and then I love the company Bethesda. You know, they make Skyrim and the Fallouts, and they make Wolfenstein and Evil Within, and I love that game company, and one of the developers from Fallout made this game so i was like i have to get this game so i downloaded it off steam and i'm in love with this game i played a little bit just to get a little um experience with this game so let's just start a new game all right let's get right into this so we just got to create uh characters okay so the first character we're gonna create press you gotta give it a sec there we go okay all right. Okay. Um, we'll make one guy. We'll give him a little bit of strength, some speed, intelligence, luck, and awareness. Um, we'll make him a smart ass, and we will give this guy. We'll give him heavy weapons. And we will make him a surgeon, a field medic. Actually, we'll make him a surgeon twice because surgeon is super important because when somebody dies, you need a surgeon to revive them. So I always like to have two surgeons because if your one surgeon dies, then there's no one to heal. You, you understand? So I like to do two. Okay, so now we gotta go. Um, I'll, I'll just leave the name blank. I'm just gonna click everything random. I, I don't want to do anything smoke because I, f I think you have to like whatever you smoke you have to find that or else your character goes like withdrawals I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% on that so uh, oh no it's uh let's just make a cool guy uh like that give him a cool backpack that one's cool it's like a machete uh this this hat looks really cool so we'll use this one here we go, this is my guy right here. Take a new snapshot. Okay, no name. What should we name him? We'll name him Bob. Oh, no, spell Bob wrong. Okay, so that's Bob. So we should give this guy a lot of coordination because this guy's going to be the sniper. So we're gonna give him, yes. We also want luck so we can get crits. Here we go. We want a really good sniper, and we'll give him weapon smithing so he can upgrade stuff. Actually, no. We'll give him one weapon smithing, and mechanical repair, and a demolitionist. There we go. We'll make it a female. Uh, we'll give her like a helmet or something, gas mask. Give her this. This cool. Thing made of like tires, it looks like, or chain mail or whatever it is made out of. Uh, that one's pretty cool. All right, that's cool. Um, what should her name be? Hopefully, I spelled that right. Sharkisha. There we go. Um. And we'll make this guy very intelligent, with a lot of charisma. He will be, he will also have perception, safe cracking, lock picking, computer alarm disarming, and he will be our, we'll give him, actually I like some machine guns, but I like energy weapons as well. Quickly with enemy armor, cannot jam, very low damage against unarmored, can... Alright, right, we'll go with submachine guns because I like submachine guns because they're pretty convenient. So, uh, let's give him. No, no, no. There we go. This one's cool. Like that. Give him a tank top. I mean, a t shirt. There you go. Looks like it was all bummy. There we go. That's how we go into a zombie apocalypse. This guy's name will be. 
that's gonna be his name. Just some random keys, you know, we like to uh, keep it very plain and simple here at Step 1 Gaming, as you guys can tell. So, uh, we'll give this guy a lot of speed. There we go. And we'll make him a brute force. We'll give him barter, just so we can get a couple of uh, arguments out of the way. Okay, I don't, I don't know about toaster repair. I was always a little iffy about that, because, like, it's... They make fun of it, so I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Make him an outdoors man. When he, he could be, we need a leader as well. And I'll give him, hmm. Assault rifles are good, but good damage, long range. Uh, hmm. All right, let's make him assault rifles. Why not? We'll make him one assault rifle. No, no. One or two, and then we can make another field medic. Yeah, field medics are very important so I could heal everybody. I'm just going to name this person medic. And we'll make a female, so we'll have two men. No, no, we'll make it a male. Uh, let's make everything random. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care what he looks like. There we go. And we're off. Okay, this is the squad. We'll just play seasoned. Okay, I'm ready. So, hopefully my characters will do good for me. Uh, I feel like I did a pretty good point allocation, so let's hope this works out. Okay, so it's loading. And loading. And loading some more. Alright, come on. You can do it. The loading's a little slow. My computer is not the uh, fastest computer in the world. There it goes. So a lot of people might not like this game because it's a third person shooter, a uh, third person perspective, but uh, I enjoy it no matter what. You know, it's one of those fun survival games. If you like Fallout, you'll definitely like this game. Okay, I'm just gonna go skip this. I don't know if you guys really mind. Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been giving us cause for concern. Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am. When you get back to this, don't know, but I'll give you the, the voice. The mission okay, so the mission is we have to find this guy, Ace. He's dead. Where the uh, heck do you think you're going, recruit? Uh, I gotta, I gotta search the area. Okay, so we gotta travel to this radio tower and find Ace's dead body. So we're going to do that now. Now you know where to go. Good luck out there, recruits. Okay, so let's just double check my my crew. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we got plenty of stuff. So we have a bunch of resources, so if anyone gets injured or damaged, we have plenty of equipment to save them. So, so we gotta go to this uh, Earth circular globe looking thing and uh, we got to travel to radio tower all right I'm ready for this <clears throat> Ooh, my throat still not feeling too good I'm a uh, tiny bit sick still but I'm feeling a lot better than before if you're wondering why my voice sounded uh, kind of bad in the other videos that's probably why man they gotta f this loading is so low I feel like I'm playing Skyrim on the Xbox right now that loading was terrible man that took forever okay so uh, we're gonna click view map oh no I got a copy Okay, so we're gonna go view map, click radio tower, and click travel. And it's gonna like sort of fast travel us. Because if you ever played Fallout, you know when you can fast travel to locations, it's sort of like that, but it's not as quick. You have to actually watch it. 
Okay, so combat. You see dangerous raiders approaching your position. Run or attack? Hmm. I usually like to attack, so let's attack. But if I run into a lot while I'm going to a one location, I'll start to run. But, uh, it's because, like, you don't want to lose too much health before you get to your location. Okay, so, let's set up my positions. Okay, so this is the heavy machine gunner, so we'll click this button and we can separate them. So the sniper will go back here. Uh, he'll go over here. And these two guys will stay up front. And they moved. Why would you move over here? Now you're going to shoot your teammate. You can shoot your teammates if they're in front of you. So we definitely don't want that to happen, see? So, uh, we'll shoot him. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Luckily, they have melee weapons and they're not very powerful. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Too bad my weapon's jammed. That's a bummer. That happens a lot with the uh, non-energy weapons. Energy weapons don't jam. Okay. And here's my sniper. Ooh, should I go for the headshot? Ooh, I got it. His head just flew off. Now, that was a nice shot. Come on, stop missing. Aw. Oh, damn it. Oh no, he has a bladed weapon. He has a machete. Lucky miss. See, that's why you always want to upgrade luck because you can actually dodge the shots, which is really nice. Uh, move him one up. Uh, shoot him. There we go. And that's why snipers are amazing. Uh, we'll move him up to here. Oh, I shouldn't have moved him that close. But I didn't want to shoot my teammate, so... Doesn't matter. Man, this guy doesn't want to die. Okay. Weapon jam again? Didn't I just unjam it? Damn it. This is not a good uh, attack for me. There we go. That's it. Alright, we got some good XP and I'm just gonna pick up whatever they dropped. A surgeon kit. That's good, that's good. Ooh, a pocket medic pack too. Wow, I got good stuff from this. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. Usually don't get that stuff. That's always good. You always want to find any medical supplies because that's very vital in this game. That's very important. Um, Alright, so we're going to get out of here. And we're going to head back to the map and travel back to the radio tower. And we'll find Ace. Here he comes. Here's the champ right here. Travel. Uh, exit this encounter, yes. So it was a pretty successful one. We didn't really lose that much health, so that's always a plus, you know. Sometimes you'll lose a person if you have run into really powerful raiders, but in the beginning of the game, you really don't run into them. Okay, so let's get on our way. So in this game, you want to find as much water as possible while you're traveling because it can be scarce in some places. Oh, there's some water right there. Refill water, yep. It looks like we're running into some radiation, so that's not very good. But it's not serious radiation, so that's okay. Okay, and we are arriving at the radio tower. And let's enter the radio tower. Confirm. And we're in. That simple. Man, these loading screens are killing me today. They're usually not this slow. I don't know what's going on. Maybe my computer's just slower than normal today. There we go. I'm, I'm happy to be playing this game, though. Okay. Roger that, Echo One. When you reach the area where Ace's body was found, give it a good going over. 10-4, Echo One, and check... Okay, so... Oh, there's blood spots everywhere. It doesn't seem too good. I know you gotta check your surroundings. There's... Here it is. It's badge. Okay. 
pretty sure you go this way. Oh, let me unjam his weapon first. There we go. Okay. Oh, who are these guys? Okay. There we go. We used smart ass perks so we didn't have to uh, fight them or pay anything to get in. So that's always a plus to have. You know, you want to have uh, smart ass, kiss ass, and badass, I believe. And you want to always want to have one of those to help you. So I'm pretty sure we could do computer and easy so we can hack this radio tower. And hopefully it'll be successful. It is a success. So that's a plus. Okay, so we're going to go use perception. So perception is a very important skill because it allows you to detect if it's. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that guy kind of cut me off as I was saying, but I was saying the perception skill allows you to detect if something's trapped, or it's pretty awesome, so if I use the perception skill, see there's an alarm, so I need to go like this, and deactivate the alarm, this guy's going to come over and he's just going to say something. Okay, so I turned off the alarm, and now I'm just going to lockpick the door. So I can get through the gate and actually get to where I need to go. Success. That's always a plus. You know, you always want a success. That's very, it's very good. Um, we're going to go this way. And perception. Chain link fence blocks the path. Carefully examining the fence finds a lock and a trap. So, demolition man. Okay, so I'm just gonna move everybody away, so that way if it does explode and it fails, it won't injure everybody else. So hopefully it's going to be a success success of disarming this. Oh, that's not good. Run! Come on. There's an 80% chance of success. That's pretty good. There we go. Oh, and now we need the lockpick. Where is he? Come here. And now you gotta unlock it. So, it's pretty awesome. I like that, how you use all the skills, you know. It's like Fallout 3, but with multiple characters with different traits instead of just you. So that's pretty nice. So you could have specialized guys just for those traits. Um, and here's one. The crate. Okay. So we're going to... open the crate he finds some 12 gauge ammo and 30 to 60 ammo 0.30 to 60 and where's my demolition max I'm pretty sure this one's trapped Ooh, it's a medium so that's not a very good sign so demolition man you're going to go by yourself I'm sorry come on I got this this time it's gonna go success come on come on Damn it. Come on, I got this this time. This time it's gonna work, I know it. Damn it. I'm gonna try again. Maybe I should have upgraded the demolitionist a little more. But uh, when I get more points and they level up, I'll do that. Come What? How many times are I gonna have to do this? I don't wanna get blown up. You take a lot of damage, so I'm trying not to get blown up. And he gets blown up. Old Navy Revolver. That's, not, that's pretty nice. So which one of my characters has handguns? None of them. He has pipe bomb, this guy. Uh, I guess I'll give it to my sniper. So... If he's ever an up close encounter, it's pretty nice. It does good damage too. So that's pretty good. Okay. So we have to, let's check our quest. Search the radio tower for the repeater units Ace was carrying. 
Okie dokie. I'm just gonna search around the area for some more chests and stuff. Oh, there's one. Because I like to check if there's things lying around. What is this? Short bower mod? Um, that's okay mod. It's nothing good. I don't like it when it has negatives. Because then that's just not really doing that much good. Especially when there's more negatives than positives. That's never a good sign for a attachment. Let me zoom out a little bit so I can see a tiny bit better. So, no, we don't want to leave. So, we're here and we want to find some stuff. Here, there's a piece of paper right there. So, let's go get that. Come on, guys, hurry up. Uh, log book page. So we're trying to find the log book pages for Ace. That thing is really annoying. That radio tower, the beeping sound is kind of annoying. Um, there's nothing over here. Oh, oh, there is. There is. Oh, I was hiding. I found it. I found it. Um, am I gonna need lock picking? Is it locked? Use perception, there we go. Uh, oh, ammo, that's always good. So let's just distribute the ammo to the person that actually needs it. This is for sniper rifles, so who's my sniper? The girl, so we'll give her the sniper ammo. Okay. No one has a shotgun, so that's really not necessary for anyone. This is for heavy machine guns and sniper rifles. Okay, so we're going to give half to this guy. And we'll give the other half to... Who is the assault rifle? Him. So we'll give him the assault ammo. This one is for sniper rifles. Pistols. Does anyone else have pistol ammo? Oh, seems like we are good. Is he a surgeon as well or is he just a field medic? He is a surgeon as well. Okay. Now, I'm just reading the thing, so i just checking. Okay. So, let's get a move on. So, we got to find the rest of his logbook pages, I'm pretty sure. For the repeater units. So, they got to be around here somewhere, right? Repeater units? What is this? Metal leg. So that gave me some XP, so that's pretty nice. Uh, here's another uh, box of some sort. I wonder what's in here. Some scrap and a pipe bomb. Pipe bombs are always a good thing. Is this... No, I thought... No, is this a cave? Oh, it is a cave. Let's enter it. Let's see what's inside. This is something good. Is there an enemy? There is a toaster. Well, I didn't do toaster repair. I did some research and they said it's kind of useless. One skill point for everyone. That's pretty nice. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and save the game now. Okay, so we got some skill points, which is pretty convenient. So we're going to see what else we could find. Alright, uh, let's head this way. Open this. Heavy M2. Okay, we don't really need that. That's not really that amazing. But, um... Hmm. Who has the ammo for the heavy? This guy? Oh. He has the same ammo. Damn it. Alright, well that's going to wrap up this episode. Thank you guys for watching episode 1. If you guys enjoy this series, please leave a like down below. And if you want to help me and support me for better videos and more videos of this series, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Episode 2 will be out shortly.